Iceland declares state of emergency after 800 earthquakes in 14 hours hit nation. Before we dive in details, please subscribe to the channel and stay always one step ahead to know all global important events happening around you. Give a thumbs up and share the video with your family and friends. Let's move on with the video. Iceland, on Friday, declared a state of emergency after a series of small and medium-intensity earthquakes jolted the southwest Reykjanes Peninsula in the country. In an official statement, the authorities of Iceland warned that the seismic activity may also result in volcanic eruptions in the country. The Department of Civil Protection and Emergency Management of Iceland. The National Police Chief declares a state of emergency for civil defense due to the intense earthquake activity at Sundanjuka Giger, north of Grindavik. Earthquakes can become larger than those that have occurred, and this series of events could lead to an eruption, the administration added in the statement. The Icelandic Met Office, IMO, said that the possible volcanic eruptions in Iceland could take place in several days. On Friday, southwest Reykjanes Peninsula was hit by around 4,000 small to medium intensity earthquakes. According to preliminary IMO figures, the biggest tremor had a magnitude of 5.2 north of Grindavik, a village on the Reykjanes Peninsula. Some 24,000 tremors have been recorded on the peninsula since late October, according to the IMO, with a dense swarm of nearly 800 quakes registered between midnight and 2 p.m. GMT Friday. The Blue Lagoon Geothermal Spa, one of Iceland's biggest tourist attractions, has been closed temporarily due to the possibility of the eruptions. The Department of Civil Protection of Iceland has sent patrol vessels to the earthquake site in Grindavik for security purposes. In addition, emergency shelters and help centers would open in Grindavik later Friday, as well as three other locations in southern Iceland for information purposes and to assist people on the move. Reykjanes Hub of Volcanic Eruptions Since 2021, three eruptions shook the Reykjanes Peninsula. The first one was in March 2021, followed by another in August 2022, and the third one in July 2023. Notably, Iceland also has 33 active volcanic systems, which is the highest in Europe. Prior to the March 2021 eruption in an uninhabited area around Mount Fagradalsfjall, the Reykjans volcanic system had remained dormant for eight centuries. In April 2010, more than one crore people were stranded after nearly 100,000 flights were canceled worldwide due to a massive volcanic eruption in Iceland's southern area. The skies over Iceland, usually a gateway to other lands, now held potential danger. In the face of impending danger, it was a race against time. The clock was ticking, the earth was rumbling, and the people of Iceland were on the move, their eyes on the horizon, awaiting what the next tremor might bring. With the ground shaking more violently and frequently, the authorities declared a state of emergency. The Icelandic Met Office, recognizing the escalating situation, elevated the country's civil protection to an emergency level. The city of Grindavik was advised to evacuate, primarily as a preventative measure. The cause of concern? A potential volcanic eruption. With over 800 earthquakes detected in the region, it was clear that something was brewing beneath the surface. The substantial movement of magma towards Grindavik indicated a high likelihood of a volcanic eruption. The hazards associated with such an event are numerous and severe. Rivers of molten lava, clouds of toxic gas, and heavy smoke are all potential threats that could cause significant damage to the landscape and pose serious risks to human life. The situation was not taken lightly. The world-famous Blue Lagoon was closed as a precautionary measure, and the aviation color code was elevated to orange, signaling increased volcanic activity that could pose risks to aircraft. The Reykjanes Peninsula, where Grindavik is located, has experienced frequent volcanic eruptions since 2021, suggesting a new era of volcanic activity. Iceland was on high alert, bracing for the worst. As Iceland faces this seismic crisis, what does the future hold? The current state of affairs is a clear indication that the country is on the precipice of a significant volcanic eruption. Experts from the Icelandic Met Office have expressed the considerable likelihood of this eruption, a scenario that carries with it a range of hazards, from the potential outpour of lava to the emission of toxic gases and heavy smoke, the inhabitants of Grindavik and its surrounding areas are bracing themselves for an environmental event of considerable magnitude. At the heart of this seismic activity 
is the Reykjanes Peninsula, a region that has seen its fair share of volcanic eruptions since 2021. This continuous activity suggests a new era of volcanic activity for Iceland, a country that is home to over 100 volcanoes with 32 of them being active. The looming threat of a volcanic eruption comes with a sense of deja vu for many Icelanders. Just over a decade ago, in 2010, the Ijavjallajökull volcano erupted, causing significant disruption to air travel across northern Europe. As we stand today, the aviation color code has been elevated to orange, signifying an increased likelihood of an eruption that could pose risks to aircraft. Yet, as we speculate about the future, we must remember the resilience of the Icelandic people. They have lived with the reality of their geologically active island for centuries, and their adaptability and preparedness are commendable. The current evacuation is primarily preventive, a testament to the country's effective civil protection measures, and the Icelandic Civil Protection Agency assures that there is no immediate danger. However, the closure of popular tourist attractions like the Blue Lagoon serves as a stark reminder of the potential impact on the local economy and lifestyle. The eruption could not only disrupt daily life, but also pose a significant challenge to the country's tourism industry, a crucial contributor to the Icelandic economy. As we await the Earth's next move, we stand in solidarity with the people of Iceland. Their resilience and strength in the face of such uncertainty are nothing short of inspiring, and we hope for their safety and the minimal disruption to their lives and their land.